This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, we're in um, Chapter 12 of the Paper P1 Lecture Notes. And in the last lecture, we looked at a full relevant costing exercise. But I said there are two more related types of problems that you can be asked. Um, and the next one, if you look at Exercise 3, is what we call shutdown problems. Uh, and again, it's not really, as I, I hope you'll agree, a question of learning. It's the same sort of principle we were applying in exercise two. But have a read with me. A company manufactures three products, pawns, rooks and bishops. And the present net annual income from each of these is as follows. So we'll just talk quickly down one of them. If you look at pawns... We've got sales of variable, uh, sorry, sales of 50,000. There are variable costs of 30,000, so a contribution of 20. Uh, fixed costs of 17,000. And therefore, pawns are making a profit of 3,000. And similarly, uh, rooks, they're losing 3,000. Bishops, profit of 5,000. And you've got the totals there. Total revenue, total costs. Uh, the total profit is 5,000. Um, okay, it says the company is considering whether or not to cease selling rooks. It's fairly obvious why they're considering it. Because um, it appears to be loss making. It is felt that selling prices cannot be raised or lowered without adversely affecting net income. 55, sorry, not 55, 5,000 of the fixed costs of rooks are direct fixed costs which would be saved if production ceased. All other fixed costs would remain the same. And so, before we look at part B, the question wants to know, should we cease production of sale of rooks or not? Well, there are two ways you get the same answer, albeit I think one way is substantially quicker. Uh, one way would be to simply uh, recalculate what the total profit will be if we stopped producing rooks. And in fact, I'll do it that way. I'll do it both ways, just then hopefully you're convinced. Um, I'll just do the total here. So what would total sales be? If we stop rooks, we lose that 40. And so uh, total sales would be 110 uh, from pawns and bishops. Variable costs. Um, again, um, if we don't produce rooks, they disappear. So it's just pawns and bishops, a total of 65,000. So the contribution would be uh, uh, 45. Uh, fixed costs, well, there were 55,000 in total. And remember, generally, fixed costs are fixed, whatever we produce. But it says 5,000 of the fixed costs of rooks are direct fixed costs which would be saved. All of the fixed costs would remain the same. So be clear what's happening, you see. We've got total fixed costs which have been, if you like, shared between the products. Uh, and generally, if the total is 55, it'll always be 55. But it does turn out that, in fact, 5,000 of them are specifically just for rooks. And so we would say 5,000. Um, so the fixed costs would go to 53. That wasn't very hard arithmetic, so I don't know what's wrong with me. It was 55. If we say 5,000, the fixed costs go to 50. And what happens? We'll end up making a loss of 5,000. And so should we cease rooks? Well, no, we shouldn't. Uh, because if we do stop uh, rooks, um, we end up losing money overall. Now, I said there are two ways of doing it. What's actually a slightly more efficient way would be simply to work out 
If we stopped Brooks, what savings would there be and what costs would there be? And so if we stop Brooks, what would we um, save? Well, the saving would be uh, those fixed costs that would be saved if production ceased. So we'd save fixed costs of 5,000. On the other hand, though, of course, if we stop Brooks, we'd have a lost contribution. Uh, the 15,000, the lost contribution. And so by stopping, we save five, but we lose 15. There'd be a net loss from stopping of 10,000. Now, I don't mean we end up with a total loss of 10,000. We don't. We end up with a loss of five. But what I'm getting at is either currently we're making five, if we stop, we lose five, or the net benefit or cost of stopping, it loses us 10. And if it's going to lose us money by stopping, then we won't stop. So either way around, uh, we should not stop. Do not stop. Uh, now, that, I don't to confuse anybody. I hope I haven't. Some people do get confused. I'm not saying we make an overall loss in total of 10,000 at all. I'm saying that compared with what we're currently getting, stopping would mean the profit was 10,000 less than it currently is. So, doesn't matter whichever way you look at it, it's not worth stopping uh, rooks. All right, what about part B? It says, suppose, however, that it was possible to use the resources released by stopping rooks to produce a new item, crowners. So it's saying here again, maybe we should stop rooks, but this time if we do stop rooks, we'll be able to produce these crowners. They'll sell for 50,000, they'll incur variable costs of 30 to produce, and there'll be extra fixed costs as a result of 6,000. Well, again, you could take either approach. Those two I showed you a minute ago. Uh, here, though, I think uh, certainly quicker. Uh, I will do the second approach. If you want to have a go at the uh, looking at the effect on total profit yourself, by all means do. But I'm going to look at <coughs> if we stop under scenario B, how much extra profit or how much less profit will there be than what we're currently getting? So what's going to happen? Uh, first of all, if we stop rooks, we will lose the contribution from rooks. Uh, which is what? 15,000. That on its own would pull profit down by 15. And also, as we've already seen, if we stop rooks, we'll save the fixed overheads from rooks. How much was it? Five. So, so far, part A, uh, stopping would lose us 10,000. Uh, this time, though, if we do stop, we're then able to make crowners. So we'll gain contribution from crowners. Of how much? Um, the revenue is 50, the variable costs 30, so we'd gain a contribution of 20,000. But on the other hand, there will be extra fixed costs. Uh, from doing crowner of 6. So we lose, we gain, we save, we uh, pay. But overall, what's going to be the net effect on the profit? Uh, 
Uh, we gain 25, we lose 21. So overall, the profit will increase by 4,000. So instead of the current 5,000 total we're making, we'll end up making nine. Well, because profit will increase, uh, we will stop rooks and make crowns instead. Uh, oh, clearly, if profit was going to fall, uh, we would stop. So do stop rooks. Okay. Now that's quite a nice little exercise. It's um, the same sort of thought process as the previous exercise on relevant costing. Uh, but just presented in a, a slightly different way. All right, well, that was a quick one. However, uh, uh, I do want to split this because I said there are three exercises which are slightly different techniques. And so um, we'll leave the um, shutdown problem there. Uh, the next, the final lecture on this chapter, we'll look at the next exercise, which is make or buy problems.